Hi there, Lloyd Macedo speaking to you from LloydMacedo.com and Lloyd Macedo TV. What do you want? Show, show. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Mm. All right. Um, anyway, uh, today's video is uh, predominantly going to be about a revelation that I had a few, just a few hours ago. I mean, I was, I just came back from a dinner with one of my friends. And um, after sitting down at home, I just started reflecting on the fact that, you know, lately I've been spending a lot of money eating outside. I've been eating outside, I've been uh, enjoying good food, not necessarily ex expensive food, but yeah, I've been eating good food. So I just sat down and kind of calculated how much money was I actually spending and I was pretty surprised that I was spending a lot of money. And that is where I happened to bump into an article written by UFC legend and Hall of Famer, that is Randy, Randy Couture. Um, he had uh, written down this article. Let me see if I can find out um, um, that article that he had written down. Yes, it was titled, uh, what is this? Money Lessons of a UFC Fighter. Money Lessons from a UFC Fighter. Now. Randy is the guy in The Expendables Part 2, if you are a Hollywood movie buff. He acted in Expendables Part 1 and he's acted in Expendables Part 2 as well. So, yeah, this is the guy who at the age of, uh, in his 40s, he managed to come back out of retirement and beat guys who were actually in their 20s. Um, so, Randy has written this article. <clears throat> now, just to give you a background about Randy, Randy is a fighter who fights for the UFC. He he was um, he he landed in the UFC circuits uh, when he was in his 30s, and uh, before he knew it, he became a world champion. But then he went through a very painful divorce. After the divorce, he went through uh, a problem with the UFC, whereby they ended up uh, having a court case with him. And uh, after that, I think uh, he was just trying to pull his life back together. So he came out of retirement. He came join the UFC once again, and uh, he managed to succeed. So. He went through a pretty rough patch and he succeeded in proving himself. Now, he wrote down this article as to uh, stating with the fact that, you know, um, pro athletes, most of the professional athletes, he has stated nearly 80% of the National Football League athletes, uh, you know, American football, the one where they just crunch each other with force, 80% of them end up being bankrupt after they lose uh, their contracts. And uh, nearly 60% of the basketball um, athletes, they happen to lose all their money. They file for bankruptcy uh, just within two years of leaving the contract. And then he also, um, I also remembered, you know, Evander Holyfield and most of the other boxers, they are, uh, uh, you know, filing for bankruptcy. So he wrote down this article because he wanted to focus on the burgeoning, uh, uh, this um, crisis that seems to be looming uh, on our heads. So, what does he have to say? Now, he gave three bits of advice which I found pretty effective. One is stop procrastinating. By stop procrastinating, what he meant to say was, uh, don't think you're invincible. I think most of us, what happens is we, we tend to think that uh, we are young, you know, we can achieve anything. We, uh, you know, we read a lot of these motivational books, uh, CDs, we go for these seminars. So, we think uh, we can just about achieve anything. And uh, we're always going to have this great environment that we're going to have. We're going to work very hard and, uh, you know, achieve the millions or uh, achieve the dreams that we have in mind. However, what Randy says is don't think you're invincible and stop procrastinating. In fact, what he has done is he has had a um, invest, investment and financial advisor. Uh, his name is Jimmy Lee, apparently, from uh, a managing partner of Strategic Wealth Associates in Las Vegas. So this guy manages the money that Randy earns. So um, don't delay until tomorrow that you need to plan your future today. Now, in, in terms of my case, I would say that right now I'm just investing into books, CDs, seminars, DVDs, because I need to educate myself. So yes, in terms of savings, no, I don't have much of savings. I have everything related to uh, in terms of what I'm doing in terms of books, CDs, seminars, tapes, uh, that is everything related to training, development, growing, and yes, I have a contingency plan in mind, uh, which is already being put into effect from next month onwards. Then second one is stop spending like there's no tomorrow. But what happens is we tend to have the, um, we tend to 
believe that live life to the fullest, enjoy every moment that you have. But sometimes we tend to overspend. Um, we spend on the credit cards, we spend on loans. Now, in my case, I have blown out my credit card for this month. The reason being for that is because I needed to purchase these books, which were going at an unbelievable price. And I use these uh, books as gifts, as incentives, as uh, uh, awards for my students and for other people who come uh, to interact with me. So I didn't do it just out of uh, like, you know, uh, this is an impulsive buy or this is something in terms of luxury. So, but there are some people out there who just spend as if there is no tomorrow, they spend money, especially people who go to bars and pubs and, uh, you know, unwanted joints. I mean, I don't see the, the, the merit in doing that. And the third one is diversify. In terms of diversify, but prudently, um, what Randy meant to say was, he is just not a one dimensional person. Like he's not, not just a fighter. He also has a gym. He also has a clothing line. He also has uh, health and nutritional products. In terms of my case, how have I diversified? I'm not just a trainer. I also, I speak and meet people personally one-on-one -on -one as a private coach. I, I conduct videos like this so that it offers value. I write articles. So the financial aspect of this is, uh, it is pretty indirect because people see me more visibly and they see that I offer them much more value. And yes, I'm moving towards being an internet marketer because that I think is what appeals to me much more. So. In a nutshell, if I were to uh, summarize all the three points, the first one would be um, you need to stop procrastinating because don't think you're invis invincible that uh, you're not going get, to get old. I especially love to say this example. I give the example of my relatives and my parents who, you know, they just uh, live for the day and uh, they never thought they're going to get old. And today, I mean, at the age of 60, they're really, really struggling. I do not know where they are, but, you know, they are having a tough time. The second one is, um, that is stop spending like there's no tomorrow because what we tend to do is we just keep spending money uh, without even thinking that there are going to be bad days ahead. So just be careful of that. Uh, having too much of hope is not a strategy and being overly motivated is foolishness. Last if not the least is diversify because if you are a one trick pony, if you're working only in the corporate world, if you're just um, believing that uh, this job is going to take me through. Now, I, I, I believe that uh, very soon competition is just around the corner. Today, Kids are much more smarter than you can ever imagine. So just be careful, diversify, that will help you at least survive and sustain. So these are my three bits and um, you, know, you see my dogs, one of them, hey, come here. Oh, yeah, this is uh, Fifi, no, this is Shosho. She is uh, sleepy. And uh, this is my male doggy who's very, very cute. And he's very lovable as well. Both of them. And they also came on video and uh, I'm sure you must have enjoyed watching this video with them. Thank you very much for watching. Please feel free to share your comments. Goodbye.